Hey guys, what is up? Uh, welcome to this GT Omega Sport Series gaming chair review. Um, now I just want to do this quick review because this is a fantastic chair. I've had this since about November 2019, so almost two years now. Um, it's gone quite quick really. And it's still, you know, functioning amazing. It's It looks great still. There's barely any wear, wear or tear on it. Um, and it's just been fantastic really. I know a lot of people are currently in the market for, for chairs, either for gaming, because uh, they've got more time for gaming because of work from home or or people who are just work from home you know people who aren't in the office anymore and they need a good chair to work from home even though it's sort of got this gaming nature to it it's fantastic to sort of you know have um if you're we you don't know working from nine till five from your home office um it doesn't really look sort of traditionally gamery so i think it's, it is really good in that respect um but at the same time it does does look very sleek really um so it's obviously got that sort of sports car bucket seat sort of design to it um, so yeah, this is currently going for one nine nine pounds ninety five pence in the UK. So that's on sale from about two hundred eighty pounds. So yeah, it's a fantastic deal really. And I think you can get five percent off codes as well if you want it even cheaper. So I think some streamers and YouTubers have those codes, so you can sort of easily find those online. But yeah, this is fantastic. I'm just going to run through the features of it, and then we'll give you a bit of a tour. So this has sort of got a state of the art ergonomic design, so it really does sort of look after your back, which is important, especially when you're sitting down for you know long extended periods of time. Uh, it's got this sort of PVC ladder to it that you can see on the front, uh, and this is really sort of stood up to the test of time. Really, this you know, like I said, I've had this two years, and it still looks great and barely any wear and tear on it. So it really is fantastic in that regard. And it's got sort of this comfortable sort of foam to it as well. So when you sit on it, it sort of bounces back, but it sort of cushions your body a bit as well. So it's not firm, but well, it's, it's firm, but to the point where, you know, it really sort of holds your body, but it's going to spring back. So it's, you know, after two years of sitting on it, it still, you know, springs back and it's not like sort of some of those really cheap sofas that you can get out there. They're just crap and they just sort of, you know, you sing into them after about a year because the, this, you know, the material has just been expended. This was, you know, still got the springiness to the foam, which is fantastic. Uh, it's got sort of a very strong framework to it as well. So I'm going to get into that later. Um, but yeah, all the metal surrounding it is, you know, pretty good quality material. Um, and yeah, I've got to worry about that breaking or anything. You can, I've, I've moved this between numerous houses and flats that I've been living in. Um, and it, yeah, it's still very sturdy. So it's really good for, for that. Uh, so got full height control. So again, I'll go into that in a bit detail in a bit, um, but it can move up and down and you can move all the various armrests and stuff as well. Um, it's got a rocking function. So again, it moves back and forth, sort of like a, a tilt, it's not like a rocking chair, but you know, it, it's got that sort of full tilt uh, back and forth uh, and you can recline it as well. Um, so there's a few optional extras that you can get for this as well. I do have them on at the moment. So I'll just go ahead and show you these really quick. So I've currently got the, uh, the armrests on it. Now, let's go ahead and try and take these off. This is what it looks like when you get it. Um, but I've decided to buy these uh, extras and they're sort of like, um, you know, like a little bit of extra foam, really. Um, so it's got like this really nice sort of memory foam feel to it, really. And yeah, that, that's amazing, really. So that makes it even softer, especially when you want to rest your elbows or your arms on it, your forearms. I definitely recommend these. These aren't too hard, but this just makes it, you know, that extra bit softer, really. Um, and they're not too expensive either. I believe they are around about £20, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, again, definitely recommend getting those. Um, but yeah, sort of just going down my list, really, you can get sort of these armrests and you can also get sort of extra wheels as well for it. So I'm currently on sort of laminated flooring, um, but you can get lockable caster wheels and you can also get the extra large PU caster wheels as well. So yeah, I'll just go for a little spin round. Oops, and that's pulling off. It's part on the side for now. Um, but yeah, it's, it is amazing still. It looks amazing. Let's give you a bit of a tour of it. So we've got this sort of uh, lumbar support here. And that, like I said, I've been sitting on that for two years and it's still almost brand new, really. You can buy new ones of these if you need them. Um, but yeah, you can change the colors and stuff like that if you, if you don't like um, white. So you can get this uh, chair in. I think it's, I can't remember off the top of my head, but you can get it in sort of black, blue, I think red and white. So I've obviously got like the black and white version here and it looks amazing. But like I said, if you've got a different setup color or you've got a favorite color, you can get, you know, you can get it in many different colors. And you've got this headrest here at the top. So these are removable. If I just go ahead and spin it around, you sort of just clip on there like that. So one clip there, two clips there, and they just, you know, easily, you can easily take them off. Don't know if you can wash them or not. Um, probably not. 
but like I said, they're about, I think the extras are, but yeah, they're about 25 pounds they are. So again, you know, if you do have to break it, you know, you haven't got to buy the whole chair again, you can just buy these or you can get different colors or whatever. But that's really nice as well. It's nice to just rest your, your head or your neck against really. Um, so yeah, I mean, it looks, it looks fantastic really, I think. So got a nice aluminium base to it here. So it's very, very strong. Um, that's not going to go anywhere. That'll last. That'll stand the test of time, really, that will. I wouldn't worry about that wearing. It's probably more the material, really, but like I said, as long as you don't sort of scratch it with sort of a knife, um, it's still quite sturdy, really. Um, so, yeah, it's, like I said, it's got some, it's really comfortable, really. I do sit down a lot. I work from home, then I game, so I'm pretty much in this for around about, just at, what, well, over half a day, at least, you know, at least 12 to 14 hours a day, I'd say, so, um, so you wouldn't really be able to tell really, I guess, um, by looking at the chair. Um, but yeah, that's the back again. So it looks really sleek, I think. It looks fantastic. Um, so you've got class four hydraulic pistons inside it. Uh, that's for like sort of moving everything up and down, I believe. That's what it looks like from the bottom there. So that's the tilt. Oops. You can see there. So I'll go over the controls in a minute. Um, but yeah, you've got the head pillow and the lumbar uh, cushion. Then you've got the PU caster wheels as well on the bottom down there. So. Altogether, the dimensions of this chair are, I think it can move between 136 centimeters and 143 centimeters. So it's got some height to it, but obviously if you're, I'm five foot nine, so if you're a taller person or, and I'm quite skinny as well. So again, I'm small and skinny. If you're a wider person or you're maybe, you know, over, I'd say probably over six foot one, you might want to consider getting a larger version. Um, so. GT Omega do other versions, this is a sports version, but they also do Pro Series, Elite Series, Sports Series, which is this one, the Pro XL Series, and the Element Series. Um, I think they do a few special editions as well for um, sports teams, eSports teams. So you'd probably be looking at sort of an XL version if you're a lot slightly larger. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say, I think I sit up to around about here on this chair. So I think, yeah, if you're about six foot or over six foot one, I'd say six foot one, six foot two, probably look at a larger version, really. But I think they probably have sizings online as well on the website uh, for, for recommended heights. So, um, yeah, this fits me comfortably. That the perfect size for me. Um, like I said, you can buy a lot of um, accessories as well, so you can customize it quite a bit. Um, you can buy things like a floor mat, uh, which I probably should do, really, because I'm on laminated flooring. So it does, it moves around quite easily. Um, which is good and bad really, I guess if you want to, you know, traditionally if you're in the office and you're on a slide, you can, it's got that sort of office feel to it, but if you want it to just stay sturdy because you're gaming and you move around a lot, you can buy sort of floor mats that sort of provide a bit more friction, I guess, to stop you moving around a lot. Um, so yeah, you can buy new tilt mechanisms for the bottom as well. So let's say, there you go. I don't know why they'd go, but I guess, you know, like anything, it has a chance to break. You can buy new ones of those as well. Um, but I've not really reclined this chair, I just sort of keep it upright. Um, but you can sort of do the classic PewDiePie all the way down if you want, or, you know, have it, have it sort of like a dentist chair um, if you want it. <laughs> but I think some people sleep in them as well, but yeah, I've just always kept mine upright like this really, and that's it's done the job for me like that really. Um, but yeah, the floor palettes I mentioned just then, you can get it for 34 95 seven different colors. So I've not tried it, so I can't recommend, well, I can't sort of um, say if it's good or bad, but I think I've seen, I think I've seen people you know, say good things about it. Um, but I'm probably going to be moving to somewhere with carpet soon anyway, so I've not really had any need to buy that um, at the moment. Uh, I think that's about it for uh, accessories. So you, like I said, you can buy all sorts of wheels and everything. So, uh, but the actual chair itself, so you've got all these controls on the side here. So, truth be told, I don't even know what they all do. This is the 4D armrest. This is a four dimensional armrest, so you can move this in many different directions. So it moves, and it moves up and down, uh, it moves side to side, and it can like, yeah, it can basically go every every uh, dimension pretty much. So you've got a button here, a button there, and you've also got a button there as well. So I think one of these, one of these does the forward and back. It's kind of hard because I've got one hand, um, so I can't fully show you. If there, uh, I think there is another video on the website that shows you that, but yeah, it, it moves in every dimension. So you can move it forwards, and you can slide it forwards and backwards. You can slide it in and out, um, up and down. Um, I've kept mine at this height because I've got the Ikea um, Alex drawers and I can't remember what the tabletop is, but this is like a kitchen worktop, but I placed it on top of these drawers. And it's at the height where you slide it under, it will it slides under the desk like that. There we go. So that's why I sort of, I've kept them low 
but from an ergonomic perspective, you'd probably have them a bit higher. Um, but this chair, you know, gives you plenty of options to do that really. So yeah, I can't give you a demonstration of that unfortunately, because I don't fully know what the uh, what they do, and I've kind of sort of configured it to how I like it. But that moves in every dimension possible. Um, might have any issue with that whatsoever. Got another control here, so I think that's for the tilt. So again, you can sort of tilt it pretty much almost horizontal, I believe. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to sleep in it, I guess you could. I've never, I've never really tilted it, so. Um, but that is there if you need it. And then we've got a few other controls on the bottom as well. So I believe, I think that one's for the height, if I'm not mistaken. So I think that moves it up and down. Again, there's the dimensions listed, but I don't know how, you know, I don't know what it's like ridiculously high because I've not had it uh, crazy height. I'm quite a small guy, so I kind of just keep it so that my knees are sort of at 90 degrees. The typical sort of ergonomic um, position really, I guess. And you've got another control here. Um, I don't know what this one's for. I think one might be for the rock, one might be for the tilt, and one might be for the height. Um, but yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, like I said, there's a crazy amount of customizability in this chair. Um, so you can really, you can probably move it in every single dimension really. And I think this, that's what this sort of design on the bottom here is for. It allows you to sort of move in all crazy manners of, um, you know, instead of it being like a solid um, bar up here, it sort of goes to slope backward a bit into the design. So it allows for that sort of rock and the, uh, the tilt as well there. Um, so it's kind of like, I think if you want to sit like that, it allows you to do that really. Um, so that, I think it tilts the base. So one tilts the base, I think, and one actually tilts the backrest, and then one adjusts the height. So I think those are the uh, the three sort of controls there. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's an amazing chair, really. Um, like I said, you get different colours. Um, they do other GT maybe do do other chairs, but this is the sports one. Highly recommend this chair. It's been fantastic. It's served me well for three years, um, and I honestly don't have any complaints with it. Um, yeah, this is a honest review. I'm not sponsored by them, but it is an amazing chair um it served me so well it's my first sort of gaming chair really i've moved from sort of a cheap um office type chair and yeah this is a nice review two years i've had it and it looks looks amazing i definitely recommend it um i know there's other brands out there like dx racer uh, um can't think of the other ones right now but you know this is amazing you can get this in the uk at least and potentially other countries as well, I'm not too sure, you'd have to check on the website, but if you're looking for a chair in the UK, either for home working or gaming, would highly recommend this one. I think the final thing I'd probably say about this chair is the uh, cleaning it. So yeah, how I have time to clean it is I usually get sort of a dust cloth, let's see if I can get one. I usually get one of like a, you know, a yellow duster and sort of just get all the, um, the dust off it, you know, whatever there is on it get all that off it any pet hair or anything like that and that usually does quite a good job get around the back as well again you can move these up and down um, so they're not just fixed in place you can sort of move them up and down depending on where your back is um, same with the headrest is sort of a bit more that's kind of there so it either fits your head or your neck or it doesn't really but this one you get a little bit of scope to move up and down but if you want to actually clean it i usually get around the back like that get behind the lumbar supports and around there try and get down the side and then i have a hoover sort of attachment which is like sort of the car attachment so it's like a long tube plastic tube and it sort of gets down the sides there and it generally cleans them quite well really um, and again sort of try and dust all within there clean around there and the backs try and clean within there clean all the seat itself clean down there down there down the sides around there and on the rest as well and um, yeah, it looks pretty good after a good clean. Um, you know, obviously if you're using it quite a lot, you probably want to clean it. Um, but yeah, it's quite easy to clean as well, really. So again, just thought I'd put that a little extra bit in there just because um, yeah, you want to keep it looking nice and tidy. But yeah, can't say uh, can't say anything else about it. I think that's pretty much good everything. But if you've got any questions on this, please let me know. Um, it just looks so sleek and smart though. It looks amazing. But yeah, any questions on it, please pop them in the comments below. Um, I'll try to keep this quite short because I usually ramble on so um, yeah I'll try and help you with any sort of questions you've got um, but other than that hope you enjoyed the video please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video hope this helps see you guys soon bye now